Welcome back to the 30 day video challenge. So I've made a ton of videos talking about slip bobber fishing. And there's two questions that come up quite consistently. One, what bobbers are you using? And it, de it depends which setup. I'm not gonna talk about that. The second question that comes up the most is what slip stop are you using? And again, that depends what you're comfortable with. So today we're gonna walk through four, kind of four different slip stops that you can tie on, try out and find out which one you prefer. So the most common type by far is a yarn stop like this. It comes with a little clear plastic tube or a black plastic tube, depending on, depending on what you use. And all you do is just slide this tube up the line, slide the knot off, slide the tube off the line and tighten the knot up. These are by far the most common uh, slip bobber rigs. A lot of you probably use them. The pros are they're super easy to put on and uh, they're fairly cheap. You can get a pack of like 20 or 30 of these for just a buck. Um, the downside is they do tend to slide. Probably the most of any of the four types that I'm gonna talk about today it, a little tip that you can use to kind of help, because these will slide depending on if you're casting a lot or if you catch a lot of fish, leave about half an inch or three quarters of an inch of a tag end. And that way you can retighten your, your knot over time um, and then readjust it, retighten it. Again, super simple to set up, but probably one I would shy away from. Number two and the one I probably use the most is the rubber bobber stops. There's two different colors here. I think they make a variety of different colors for these rubber bobber stops. I got black and red on this little thing. Again, it's super simple to put on. You can put them right through these, put the line through these little metal loops, and then you just slide the rubber bobber stop on. The, uh, the pros about these, they stick a lot better. They don't slide as much. Uh, again, they're super simple to put on, but the one downside, if you're using a smaller spool, is a 1,000 size spool. If you're using the smaller spools and you're trying to cast a lot instead of just pitch out away from the boat, if you're trying to bomb cast, these do get stuck in the spool. And what happens is you'll cast and the line will just get caught on it and your, bobble, your bobber is gonna shoot back at you. Um, so if you do use these a lot and you're starting to cast long distances or you're fishing from shore, you're a bank fisherman, highly recommend going to a 2,000 size reel Something like this. This is a 2000 size PC Fun Carbon X. The Viper X is also a, an option if you want, but the 2000 size reel is, is really something you want if you're casting a lot with the rubber bobber stop setup. That's the only downside of, of using the rubber bobber stops is the smaller spools, they tend to catch the line. So let's say you don't have any pre tied stuff or you don't have your rubber bobber stops. Something you probably always have is braided line. Um, or honestly, fluorocarbon mono in a pinch will work. But braided line, as long as you tie just a little bit of a, you can just tie a uni knot over the top of your mono filament or your fluorocarbon or whatever you're using for your bobber stop or your, your main line. You can use the braid line as the bobber stop. Um, and I'll show you right here, it's a super simple knot. Again, little tip, leave a little bit of tag in, half inch, three quarter inch of a tag end because this will slide, not as much as the yarn stop will, but you can tighten the braid up pretty, pretty well. It will stop, it will slide sometimes. So leave that half inch, three quarter inch so you can retighten your line. But everybody's got braid or some sort of line, monofilament fluorocarbon laying in their boat or just on your fishing reel, just clip off six, eight inches, probably all you need, tie a uni knot and you got yourself a makeshift bobber stop in a pinch. Now the, Last option, and honestly, I've, I just saw somebody post about this. Let's see if we can get her in focus here. Fly line backing, right there. Yes, fly line backing, that's what that is. So this is Dacron backing, which uh, is a tough polyester uh, type of line. And the cool thing about this is actually it's gliding purposes or it's, uh, it's, it's slickness on the water. And the one thing that makes this interesting is you can actually tighten this down a lot more than you can your yarn or even your braid bobber stop, this fly line backing. Uh, 
I've just started using this, so I'm still kind of experimenting with it. But I did want to mention it because I've seen a number of posts of people using fly line backing as bobber, slip bobber stops. So it might be something that you want to throw in the boat. It, honestly, a spool like this, I think is only like 10 bucks. What is this, 100 yards of it, 20 pound fly line backing. I'll leave a link to it below. Um, the other thing is fly line backing is super slick. So I'm hoping, I'm, I'm trying, I'm still experimenting with it, but because it's super slick, especially when it gets wet, I'm hoping it doesn't get caught in the spool as much as these rubber bobber stops do, and it doesn't get caught in your eyelets as you're reeling fish in or as you're casting out. So this is why I'm number four, because I haven't used it a ton, but based on what I've used so far, it's, it's working pretty darn well. So I might be switching to this. And again, just tie a, a little uni knot on top of a main line and you got yourself a bobber stop. So those are the four types of bobber stops that you can use. Uh, try all four of them. I'm still experimenting with the, uh, I'm still experimenting with the fly line backing, um, but go ahead, try all four of them. See which one works best for you based on your price point. Uh, honestly, I think all four of them are good. They definitely have their pros and cons, depending on which style of slip bobber fishing you're fishing right next to the boat. If you're trying to bomb cast away from shore, different slip stops make better stops for different purposes. So I will link all the products in the video description. If you got any comments or questions, you can post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I hope you're enjoying the 30 day video challenge series. Good luck on the water this fall. Try different slip bobber techniques. Go catch some crappie. We'll see you in the next one.